Yo, welcome back. Thanks for. All right, y'all, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. We have got our woods together. Um, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the woods because some of them are pretty cool and have kind of a cool story. Uh, first up, the body. Not a cool story. It's, it's typical uh, alder uh, that I picked up from a uh, woodworker source. So, nothing special about it. But, it's going to work and it's going to be awesome. The neck and the fretboard. These woods I actually picked up when we were living out in Montana. Um, I knew a lady whose husband had passed away. He was a woodworker for a long time. She said, if you don't come over and get some of this wood, it's going to end up in my fireplace this winter. So I went over and she had a ton of wood. Um, she said that her husband had been collecting for years and years and years. Um, there was stacks that had like years and stuff written. Um, and so I, I picked up a whole bunch of stuff, like big giant chunks like this. Uh, this is actually mahogany. This is what we're going to be using for our neck. Um, I picked this up and he had a, a, a sign on it that said, like on a big stack of it, that said 1973. So pretty sure this stuff is pretty dry, pretty stable and ready to use. This is a nice chunk, big old chunk of walnut. Uh, and we're going to use this, we're going to slice this up and use it for our fretboard. So. Alder body, mahogany neck, walnut fretboard. But this uh, alder body has a couple knots in it, so we're gonna bring you in and show you how we uh, we use our star bond. Which don't forget, Jaybird Customs Ten gets you ten percent off of all the star bond stuff. Link in the description below. But we're gonna show you how we use this stuff to fill in these knots. And uh, yeah, so check it out. Come on in. All right, so I'm gonna use this light brown medium. Um, I've got a, a knot here. I've also got the accelerator. So what we're gonna do is just pop the top off. Throw a little in there. And give it a spray. Let that set up and repeat the process. So one major tip is the tip, try not to let it actually touch the wood itself or touch, you know, whatever you're, you're using it on. I try and keep mine a little bit above and just kind of drop it down in there. Like so. Otherwise it starts picking up uh, contaminants and making it to where your, the tip of your glue bottle gets clogged pretty easy and you don't want that happening. Go. Alright, so all filled up sanded flat wiping it off with some mineral spritz so you can see now that it is nice and even and flat all right so we're using walnut for our fretboard as you guys already know so we need it to be a lot hot thinner thinner like this And as you guys can see, hey, this is way too thick. So we're gonna be, I'm gonna be hey, putting it, we're gonna be hey, cut, cutting it into uh, smaller pieces.
Alright, so this is our template for the guitar that we're, that we're making currently. And now uh, we're going to be using using the new saw, the new the blade on the saw to cut it. Okay. All right, so while Malachi is over eating lunch, uh, I went ahead and kept routing the body out. Uh, but I have reached the point of maximum depth with my router. And we could do one of two things. We can switch out the, uh, the bearing. Uh, right now, the bearing that I'm using is this guy, which this plastic, if you uh, don't have any... Um, it keeps the bearings from moving so you don't have any weird things where the bearing slips and you go too deep. I've had that happen without using this plastic sleeve before. I got this plastic sleeve at, uh, I think it was at, from Stumac like a bajillion and a half years ago. Um, so like I said, we can switch it out and go with a bearing on top instead of on the bottom. And then just uh, route the rest of it out. Um, which I'm thinking I'll probably just do that. It's easy. It's quick. Uh, the other option is, um, taking it to the bandsaw with the resaw blade and just cutting off this whole back section, make the body a little bit thinner. But, uh, yeah. Um, or the other option is a uh, spindle sander. So, Throw it on a spindle sander and sand off the edges, but that would take forever. So I'm probably just going to go with this uh, top bearing and just start routing from the uh, the, the back side rather from the top. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably wait to do that because i got to go start dinner. I am starving, so we will be back shortly. All right, so body's all routed, but... It's got a bunch of dings and dents. So, 
time for the most favorite part of any guitar build. Sanding. So, Malachi's going to get started. He's going to sand this completely flat on the front and the back. And then we will be done with that video, this video. So, let's get to this and I uh, will show you the results when we're done. All right, guys, three days of work finally done. Yeah, it took three days. Oh, well. Um, but check this thing out. It's pretty sweet. Um, I am really, really liking the color of this thing. Got it wiped down with some mineral spirits so we could actually see what it's looking like. It's got a nice little shine to it in the... Anyways, uh, next up... Uh, for next time, what we're going to do is we're going to start carving in our scroll work, put our neck pocket in, our t uh, pickup cavities, our control cavities, all that good stuff. I have yet to figure out where we're going to put an input jack. I mean, we've got still a lot of things to figure out on it, but we're going to do that in the next video. Um, I'm really, like, super happy with it. Um, what do you think, bud? I really like, like it too. Cool. So, you got anything else to add? Mm, no, actually, but I uh, hope if you guys enjoyed the video, oh, like, hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys, guys later. That's it. So, like you said, if you haven't done it already, like, subscribe. Till next time, keep building, keep having fun. We'll see you guys next time.